Hey guys, we just finished a executive review on Coach 1796 and I saw a lot of details that I really liked so I backed it out of the factory and grabbed my camera. I wanted to show you this really cool coach. So check this out. I really like the paint job on this. The crisp white with the ghosting against the red and black and the black mask over the windows I think looks really good. The front of it looks sharp too. Got Magna shades on it with the Newell logo. kind of hard to see in the camera but there's some really cool effects ghosted into the white. I don't know if you can see them there now that the sunlight's direct on them but it adds a lot of dimension to the paint job. It's got some great fades from the uh, from the lighter red down here in the bottom that fades back toward darker red as it goes back. It's got drop shadows and just a really good looking coach. One of the things that I wanted to point out is see right above the entry door? It did a little 46 inch awning that's just for the entry door so you don't have to have the big awning out to be sheltered when it's raining. Look at the back of this one too. He's got such a cool design on the back. They worked with Ryan Laux on this uh, paint scheme and just really knocked it out of the park in my opinion. Let me show you what's in the base. He did some cool stuff in there too. The engine bay, as always, looks really great. It's got a lot of polished stainless accent pieces on it. The whole floor of the engine bay is polished stainless. There's the air hose. That's on an air doubler, so you can uh, pump tire pressure up to 160 PSI. This is the pressure washer with the hose storage reel. He chose the chrome plated Alcoa wheels so they don't have to be polished and they look really good. This is the uh, curbside fuel bay, both sides, you can fuel from both sides, the DEF tanks on the other side and these are house batteries here on the left and the little uh, black vinyl bib there is to keep from dripping fuel on the tank when you're fueling. This is a pass-through storage bay, and it's got the sizal mats. We, we make these little sizal mats to go on the stairs and just inside the entryway and underneath the driver and passenger area to uh, take any grit off of your feet. And of course, this is a mid-entry coach. This is a 55-inch outdoor television on a power-extending uh, arm so that you can angle it just right for the viewing area. And behind that is the plumbing bay, which has the aqua hot pumps, tanks, and filters in it. I'll show you that. Nice use of carbon fiber on the, uh, on the bays out here. It looks really good. Nice clean look.
Next is another pass-through storage bay. This one, he's got a cooler mounted in and it's sectioned so that you can use part of it as a freezer and part of it as a refrigerator or all of it as one or the other. It's a nice thing to have and it's just set in there. In this case, it's not built in. That way, if he goes on a trip that doesn't require it, he can take it out and put it in the shop. And then another beautifully trimmed pass-through storage bay here with stainless steel and carbon fiber. This was another one of those design elements I noticed. Usually on a mid-door coach, the, uh, the deionized water filters for the pressure washer are the 10-inch filters, which gives us room for a couple of other things here in the uh, uh, generator radiator bay. In this case, we rearranged the bay and moved the sewer hose elsewhere so that we could use the 20 inch DI filters, which last a lot longer when you're washing the coach regularly. It's a really nice thought, and I bet we see this integrated into production going forward. I like the high mount mirrors. I know those are a source of a lot of debate when we're specking a coach, but I just really like how they work and I like how they look. Um, he also did the 360 degree camera system, which uses a network of cameras around the coach to give you what looks like a drone shot view from the top of the coach. That's fairly standard, we do that quite a bit, but another thing he did that I really like is he did two cameras on the roof of the coach, one facing forward and one facing backward, that tells him when he's clear of limbs as he's pulling into an unfamiliar area so he can see if the coach is gonna clear the tree limbs. Just really good thought and, and, and a lot of, lot of um, effort put into the design. So nice, nice work on this build. take a walk down the road side of the coach too. This first bay, it, the uh, large plastic box there has our care package in it which has all of the belts, hoses, fuses, light bulbs and, and so on that you might need while you're out traveling. Another pass through here, that's got uh, pressure washer uh, uh, accessories in it. This is the plumbing bay, holding tank bay. Again, trimmed out beautifully in carbon fiber and stainless steel. This is the electronics bay, which has Newell's N1 system in it. Really well done electronics system. Another pass-through storage bay. And then main fuel and DEF fill here. If 205 gallons of fuel and 20 gallons of DEF. This is what she's going to look like when we deliver her. It's been cut and buffed and the entire coach ceramic coated. The whole front of it, it has PPF film on it to protect it from road debris. And let me take you inside and we'll show you what it looks like inside. I pulled it back inside before we went into the interior because I didn't want to take a chance on it getting dusty while it's out there. This is our last shot to uh, get it perfect before delivery happens. That's just protective tape. That won't actually be yellow. I hope this comes across on the video as beautiful as it, as it is in real life. 
my friends that built this coach worked with Sydney and Amber in decor and Nathan in engineering and built just a masterpiece coach. It's got our extendable dinette like we always do. This one is modified a little bit. The table's been cut down a couple of inches to make more room around it. Then it has twin reclining theater seats. They have chargers built into them for electronic devices. They have custom chairs with the diamond pattern stitched into the back. They're heated and cooled. They have Edelman leather seating surfaces stamped in elephant pattern. Here's what I think is the finest dash in the motor coach industry. 15 inch monitors, touch panels to run everything. Awesome, awesome stuff. This one is trimmed in carbon fiber and silver wood. It's a beautiful combination. It's got great accent lighting all around it. Of course, our billet pedals. Custom steering wheel with leather wrap. got a charging pad down here that's got the uh, carbon fiber cut out for the new iPhone 15's camera. Couches have a lot of cool detail on them. This one over here is the sleeper couch. And uh, they chose color match stitching so it looks really clean and modern. And they specified that they wanted the back to be as similar to the recliner side as possible. Which looks really good. There's tons of space down through the center when the slides are closed too, which is a really difficult design task. This coach has 30 inch slides all the way around. And um, I'll try to insert a picture here and show you what it looks like with the slides in, but it, it looks, it, it really works well with those huge slides when they're in. Look at the ceiling detail. We did this spa wood treatment, which I just love this. And it's got, uh, of course, accent lighting all around it so it glows nicely. Wood grain air conditioner ducting. It's got eight feet of counter space in a mid-door coach. That's another design triumph in my opinion. Of course, custom art artwork for the coach by Parks Low. That's our touch panel that we run all of the functions with. They chose to do storage over the door with uh, color matched cabinet doors as opposed to our normal uh, uh, wine glass storage. And they've got a 32 inch television here we looked at the uh, at the dinette look at the details here like on that windowsill right there with the reveal and the the uh, white LEDs in it and the accent lights around the window and those are some knockout sconces too it's got a big television up here in the front overhead then a really big television over here in the driver's side front window. Um, this is a 65 inch television and it's permanently mounted. It has a little window below it, but it also has a really cool feature. There's a camera between the camera, between the television and the window that when you touch window mode, whatever's outside displays on the television screen. 
in 4K resolution. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You've got the huge television when you're watching television, but you have a view of the outdoors when you need it. Those little domes up above are three of the five Anthony Gallo surround speakers. It also has a 12 inch subwoofer. Quartz countertops with a Blanco sink. Nice combination. It's got a garbage disposal, of course, all of our coaches do. And a built in coffee maker. One of the things that kind of holds constant for Newell Coach in general, but this coach in particular, even with a mid-door coach, it's got tons of storage space. I'm going to cut right here for a second, and then I'll open everything up and show you what I'm talking about. The trash drawer here has a storage space behind it for cleaning supplies and trash bags. Got a nice silverware and cookware organizer in that drawer with uh, cookware drawers and dish drawers underneath. Great space up here in the overheads. This drawer will have, it's got the dishes in it, this drawer will have a uh, organizer in it, but that's one of the things we do after the client's here for delivery. This is the refrigerator with the ice drawer and the freezer. Another one of those design elements I was mentioning, they built the fascia down here on the bottom of the freezer drawer a little longer so that it covers the aqua hot vents and you can't see them while you're just inside walking around the coach large pantry space back here that's got a cabinet on the bottom for bulk storage and then a slide out and then adjustable shelves up above i had to leave one of the doors closed so you can see it better and then as you come in the center entry there's a nice little area down here where you can keep keys and gloves and dog leashes and so on there is, as always on our center door coaches, a screen door and, of course, cover over the steps. Going on toward the back here, you can see one of the things I always talk about when we're talking about mid-door coaches, which is the convenience of interface with indoor and outdoor living. So this is the door here. Interesting side note, he chose not to do a window on there or in the half bath, which is right here next to it because it breaks up the paint job outside and it's kind of an unnecessary area. So you come in the mid-door, and then your half bathroom is right here immediately on the left so that you don't have to walk through the whole coach to get to it. And of course, as always, amazing 3D tile and an underlit quartz countertop with storage above the vanity and the head. And of course, right across from the entry is the pantry and the refrigerator, which makes it really convenient if you're outside tailgating. Continuing on into the master, we have a king size retracting bed. Lots of cabinet space around. Really nice nightstands on both sides, so you have room for your iPad and bottle of water and all that.
great ambient light in this coach. They doubled up the light strips inside the valances so that they make an extra bright glow, which is really a nice, really a nice move. And of course, the spa trim continues on into the bedroom. Another large built-in television back here with the window below and closets on either side which allows for a great bank of drawers down below. Lots of storage back here too. Let me take another break and I'll open everything up and show you. It has lighted closet bars, which is really nice. Lots of storage up here. Another closet over here. Okay, going back into the master bath between the two custom art pieces. Really cool shower, look at the floor. really nicely done master bath and lots of storage let me show you it's got a ASCO front load washer and dryer on the 220 volt dryer nice storage up on top for fabric softener and detergents clothes hamper vanity storage lots cabinet space up above really nice looking underlit quartz countertops and some drawers over here and more closets and then storage over the heated towel bar I hope you guys enjoy, enjoyed the tour. We built this coach for some great friends of mine from Southern Louisiana, and they are coming Monday to begin delivery. And uh, I think they're gonna be thrilled with it. If you guys would like to visit with me about ordering one of your own, my email address is brianp at Newell Coach. It'll be right below the bottom of the video here, and I'd look forward to working with you.